Hi guys, it's Luke from Luke's Mushrooms. We have Friday the 5th of May 2023. I'm located in Slovakia at the moment and as you can see there are various trees around me, mostly aspens. And we will start right away with some of the greatest find this spring for me. Not sure if you can see that already. But we have a very nice little black morel here. It's possibly Morcella conica, but I'm not 100% sure. Definitely it's a black morel from the Morcella elata family. Genetically the shortcut M-E-L with some number and I don't know what number. But what's important, we have a great find and this was not the only one. You can see here is a bigger brother. With a very interesting shape. Not so spiky. And a bit darker. So that's first two from this spot. And I had some more. Just I need to be careful to not step on them. So just slowly I can see it already. Same as early morels, these are also masters of camouflage. This one is probably the biggest from these. Didn't see that hole before, but still it looks amazing. For me this is one of the most beautiful looking mushrooms that I know so far. And we have two more which I know about and I believe there are many many more of such which are very ca well camouflaged and I didn't notice them. This one is quite damaged from slugs, but still okay to take. And another beauty is here. So let's have a look at all five of them together. What a find. I'm very happy for this. So we are still at the same spot because I know that if we put more effort into searching here we could find some more of them and this was the first after that a beautiful one very dark one
and there is a young one next to it. Which I feel a bit sorry to take such small ones, but I know I will not be able to come here in the next weeks or months. So this is my only chance to pick mushrooms here in Slovakia. And so far I have to say I'm enjoying it very much with these beautiful finds. This is really great. I also hoped to find some early morels today. I didn't know if the season for them is too early or too late here. According to what I have found just now, it seems like it's a bit too late. We have some of them which look quite old, so I don't want to pick them for eating, at least not at this spot. But I want to pick one, so I can show you how it looks like on a cut, if I manage to do that. For example, this one looks still quite good to me. It's pretty huge. There are some older ones which I'm not going to take, but I will show you. A very big one here. Unfortunately, also too old. Here is a giant but it's fallen and a couple more for example this one these two actually on the picture right now and some more back there behind so at least i'm happy that i discovered a spot for them and even if it's too late for most of these we have another great find today. We have moved to another forest and the first mushroom here is a nice yellow yellow brain. A nice yellow jelly. The second mushroom species here are scarlet elf cups. But no signs of morels yet. We'll see. The third mushroom at this spot are false morels. The name should be Giromitra Gigas, in English Giant's False Morel. This is my first time find of these. Pity they are so much damaged. But at least it's good to know that they grow here. So we are again at a different location. And here, there is something I overlooked two days ago, where I was here. We have a morel, a black morel, but this one is very heavily damaged by probably slugs or snails. So I will not take it, but I will show you what I have found here two days ago. So let's have a look now. This is a very nice and very rare species of lizard, at least here in Slovakia. I think it's protected by law. And I see it live for the first time in my life, at least in the wild nature. And it was guiding me to some mushroom, which is probably some old morel. It looks like 
I'm not sure about the species actually but it is a true morel some of the Morcella family species unfortunately it, it's very much damaged by slugs but I hope I will find more of these soon so I have found some more of them and I believe I can identify it now I believe it's black moral, most probably Morcella conica but in any case it should be some species very closely related to Morcella elata as uh, the scientific research is still going on and the classification can change I will just say it's a black morel. This one is unfortunately very much damaged by uh, slugs and bugs. But there are more of them, so let's have a look. This one is very pretty. It's also the first time for me to find wild black morels if I don't count the half free morels because those are also closely related to Morcella elata. There is a one with a very long stem and also damaged hat. A very nice texture here. By this one I al almost thought that it's Morcella esculenta but that's because of the color and shape. As you can see it's the same species. It's growing at the same location and looks the same. Probably the most beautiful one is also the best hidden here under this young spruce this one is beautiful because of the long stem I could almost say it's Marcella elata and not conica but we would need to do a genetical test for it probably to say So here they are, all four together. This is a really great find. So that was a video from two days before the start of this video. And now we have jumped to Sunday the 7th of May and I am in Czech Republic. I came to visit one spot where I expected some early morels and yes they are here. But they are too dry already. No wonder it was no rain for some time and the weather is quite windy so it's easy to dry them out. This one looks pretty good from, from this side but not so much from the other side. So I'm not taking any of them so far. I will just show you. They are very well camouflaged and I didn't really expect them to grow on such a sunny place like this. But I'm not complaining. Here are twins. They would be very nice for a picture if they were fresh. Here I have some more. A small and damaged one. But this one looks quite...
quite decent. It still seems like I'm too late for this spot, but check this big boy. This is definitely the biggest early morel I have found probably. So not definitely, but probably at least the thickest stem that I remember. Uh, doesn't look very nice, so I'm not taking it. Just wanted to show you. And there are some others around. Definitely too old. Same for this one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And one more. I have noticed that I kicked one out and this one actually looks good enough to take. It's a little bit pre-dehydrated but I believe that should be okay. And behind me there is another giant. Just look. I'm not taking it, but maybe it would be okay. I just don't want to risk. I found quite many of them already, so I will put it somewhere so it can spread some spores around. So you can see how their habitat looks like, where they like it. There is a lot of fallen leaves on the floor of the forest and the trees which they like here are probably aspens. There are also some birches and some other trees like maples or maybe willows. I thought this one is still okay from this side, yes, from this side maybe. I will check it later. But it looks like these two will go with me. Check this monster. This one is enormous. So previously I said something about the thickest stem. This one is probably double the thickness. Dry on top and very much deformed still a great find. Of course I'm not taking it because it doesn't look so fresh anymore. Some more giants. And one which I will probably take because doesn't look too bad, not very dry. So that's nice. I can see one more actually. Let's check it out. check both of them but they look quite good 
I think I'm starting to get a bit greedy and taking those which are maybe too old. So don't get inspired by me because if you eat mushrooms, even edible species, but if you eat them when they are rotting, they can be toxic. And for each of these, it can happen that I will throw them away after this video because I will consider them as not good enough. But I want to show how great pieces I can find here today. So this is another one. I came a bit more into shadow and seems like they are in a better shape here. So I will pick some of them. This one is somehow broken but looks good. This one looks basically perfect. Mm, this one, the previous one, doesn't look very good. I don't like those brown spots, so I will, I will not take that one. Now I've just noticed the bigger one here, which could still be good, maybe. Maybe just the hat, we'll see. And behind me there are some more. So let's get there. One more which got broken, but it's, it's good, I checked it previously. wins here. Weird shape, but they should be alright. This one is growing to a side, but it's quite soft. I will Oh, let it be here. One more, which is apparently too old. But this is still a very nice find here. Something is hiding here. I have already uncovered it from the leaf, which was the second layer of camouflage. I think this is the nicest today. Well shaped, good size and fresh and healthy. And now we have jumped to Monday the 8th of May to a different forest where I found some yellow morels last not last year but two years ago and I really hoped to find them again and probably I'm too late for that to find them in a good shape but this one is here it's probably from the Morcella esculenta family MES and uh, to be able to precisely identify it, we would probably need to take the DNA of it. As it is quite dry on top, I'm not going to take it, but I'm very happy that I found it. And there was actually one more, but that one was small and quite heavily damaged by slugs it's here so both of them will stay here but i'm happy for a new spot for them so guys that's it for this video i hope you liked it because i did 
I discovered several places like new places for black morels, yellow morels or early morels. We have seen footages from several different days to different countries and many different forests. So if you liked this video and would like to support my channel then please click the like button, share the video with your friends or subscribe to the channel. And I will be happy to see you in the next video. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.